Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca and today I am bringing you to my hometown of Brisbane and I'm gonna show you how to get around Brisbane for free and all the things you can do in Brisbane without spending a cent. In this episode, I show you two free ways to explore Brisbane city. We visit some of the best free views in Brisbane take you to some of our favourite parks, free cultural experiences for adults and for children, and I show you where you can learn performative combat with lightsabers for free. The free City Loop, Spring Hill Loop and South Brisbane Loop bus service provides frequent public transport access within the Brisbane Central Business District. The City Loop uses distinctive purple buses and stops at the purple signposted bus stops. Popular bus stops along the City Route include Alice Street near QUT, Botanic Gardens, Queen Street Mall, City Hall, Central Station and Riverside. You can also charge your devices on some of the City Loop buses. The City Hopper is a free ferry service along the Brisbane River. Travellers can hop on or off at any of the eight stops situated between North Quay and Sydney Street New Farm. This is a great way to take in the beautiful sights and enjoy a day on the river. Built between 1920 and 1930, Brisbane City Council's heritage listed City Hall sits in the heart of Brisbane City. City Hall is the perfect place to explore Brisbane's history. Now, if you're lucky enough, if you come to level one, the doors might be open and you might be able to see inside the main auditorium. The auditorium is based on the Pantheon in Rome. The auditorium is a large circular hall that can seat up to 1,600 people and is covered by the largest copper dome in the Southern Hemisphere. Whilst at City Hall, be sure to visit the free Museum of Brisbane or enjoy a free City Hall tour of the iconic Clock Tower. The Clock Tower is a must-do while in Brisbane. The Clock Tower tour includes a ride in one of Brisbane's oldest working cage lifts, a look behind Australia's largest analogue clock faces, and time to explore the observation platform that shares a unique perspective of Brisbane. For many years, City Hall's Clock Tower elevated the building to Brisbane's tallest, offering visitors a magnificent view of the city around them. So if you do come up to the clock tower, there's some amazing views of the Brisbane CBD. So I recommend coming up here. They run every 15 minutes. It is free. You do need to book though because they do book out quite fast. But um, definitely worth coming up here if you're looking for something free to do in Brisbane with a great view. Queensland's Cultural Centre is situated on the banks of the Brisbane River, right next to Southbank Parklands. Home to the State Library, Queensland Art Gallery and Gallery of Modern Art, spend some time perusing over 20,000 art pieces. The galleries are open from 10am to 5pm daily. The free South Brisbane bus loop stops right outside the front of the gallery. The bus operates every 10 to 15 minutes between 10 a.m. and 11 p.m. seven days a week. Situated next door is the Queensland Museum. This free family-friendly museum showcases its interactive dinosaur displays, creatures of the sea, and much, much more. The museum also offers paid special exhibits throughout the year as well as daily free tours of the museum. Southbank is home to Australia's only inner city man-made beach. Streets Beach is perfect for a swim or to lounge on the sand while enjoying views of Brisbane's skyline. Take a stroll through the iconic arbour, a pathway covered with blooming bougainvillea that winds through the heart of the parkland. 
day or night, there's always something happening at South Bank, from festivals and markets to outdoor cinema and live performances. South Bank Parklands truly has something for everyone. Welcome to Kangaroo Point Lookout, one of Brisbane's best spots to take in breathtaking views of the city and the winding Brisbane River below. Perched on top of the iconic Kangaroo Point cliffs, this vantage point is a favourite for locals and visitors alike. Whether you're here for sunrise or sunset, Kangaroo Point Lookout offers a perfect spot for photos, a quick picnic or simply to enjoy the view. New Farm Park is one of Brisbane's oldest and most popular parks, offering a stunning riverside escape in the heart of the city. Spanning over 37 acres, this historic park is a favourite for picnics, gatherings and a bit of outdoor relaxation. New Farm Park is well known for its beautiful rose garden and its blooming jacarandas that bloom during the spring. New Farm Park can be accessed using the City Cat Ferry service. Roman Street Parklands is just a short walk from Brisbane City Hall and is easily accessible using the free City Loop Spring Hill bus service. Take a stroll through the parklands 16 hectares to see some exceptional sights. If you're looking to learn, join one of the experienced and knowledgeable volunteers on a free one hour guided tour starting at 10am. If you prefer to go at your own pace, download a map or head to the hub and collect a special self-guided map which will take you on a journey around the parkland. Mount Cutha Botanic Gardens is a stunning 56 hectare oasis just a short drive from Brisbane city centre. These gardens are home to a vast array of plant collections, all nestled at the base of the scenic Mount Cutha. Explore the unique tropical dome where you'll find an impressive collection of tropical and subtropical plants in a climate controlled environment, ideal for discovering plant life from far off rainforests. The gardens are free to enter and they also offer free guided tours. Be sure to visit the Bonsai House. The focus of the collection is on species that can be cultivated in a subtropical climate. Some specimens are more than 80 years old. Located next to the Bonsai House is the Japanese Garden, which was originally an exhibit at the Japanese Pavilion at Expo 88, held at Southbank. One of Japan's leading landscape architects, the late Kenzo Ogata, designed the gardens. The theme of the garden is mountain pond stream. It features the key elements of stone, water, ornaments, arbours, paths and vegetation. Also located at the Brisbane Botanic Gardens is the Sir Thomas Brisbane Planetarium. The planetarium offers a free display zone, including two areas, the foyer and the gallery with printed exhibits, models and interactive displays on astronomy and space exploration. For an extra charge, you can actually enter the Cosmic Sky Dome. Most public shows include a full dome, immersive presentation and finish with a guided tour of the Brisbane sky. To top off your visit to Mount Cutha, Head to the Mount Cutha Lookout, the highest point in Brisbane, with remarkable panoramic views of the city and Moreton Bay. One of Brisbane's most popular tourist attractions, it is a must-see for visitors to Brisbane, and it is entirely free. Are you a Star Wars fan? Curious about lightsaber combat or simply looking for a unique way to spend your free time? At Saber Force Academy you can experience the thrill of lightsaber combat through combat improvisation and the best part, it's completely free. Every Friday at 6.30pm at South Bank Flow State.
best views in Brisbane, head to Sky Deck, 100 metres above the ground, perched on top of the Star Casino. If you're not afraid of heights, why not walk the glass floor, with views of the traffic below. Skydeck offers panoramic views of South Bank, the Brisbane River and beyond. Accessing Skydeck is free, however they do offer restaurants and cafes, as well as a bar for your enjoyment at an extra cost. Do you enjoy a treasure hunt? Take a careful look around Brisbane and you'll find these secret and mysterious little doors on trees, in the city's oldest laneways and even inside the Queensland Art Gallery. This is a fun way to explore Brisbane and is once again completely free to enjoy. And be sure to keep an eye out for this guy. People often say they can see right through him. Discover Brisbane like a local with the free Brisbane Greeters Tours, a unique guided experience led by passionate locals who know the city inside out. Whether it's your first time in Brisbane or you're looking to learn more, these tours offer a personalised way to explore. Explore Brisbane from a whole new perspective with the city's extensive river walkways and bikeways. Winding along the Brisbane River, these paths offer a refreshing way to see the city Perfect for walking, cycling or simply enjoying the view. The iconic Brisbane River Walk stretches from New Farm to the CBD, providing a scenic uninterrupted pathway above the river. It's ideal for a morning jog, a relaxing walk or a bike ride with incredible views of the water and skyline. Why not visit the City Botanic Gardens, Brisbane's oldest public park and a serene escape in the heart of the city. Spanning over 49 acres along the Brisbane River, these gardens open daily and are completely free to visit, making it the perfect spot to unwind, explore and enjoy nature. The gardens are known for their lush rainforest groves, tranquil bamboo forests and expansive lawns, perfect for a picnic. With free guided tours, public art and plenty of open space, the City Botanic Gardens are ideal for families, nature lovers or anyone looking for a peaceful break from the city's hustle and bustle. So whether you're here to explore, relax or learn, the City Botanic Gardens offers a free and beautiful escape in the heart of Brisbane. Come and experience this green oasis for yourself. So as well as all the things I've just shown you, there's a few more free things that you can actually do when you come to Brisbane. Now, if you go onto the website listed below, you can check out the free dance classes they have, there's like free fitness classes that happen at South Bank. And then you can also go online and see what festivals are coming up. So we have the Brisbane Festival. Um, we also have fireworks on uh, River Fire and New Year's Eve. Um, they have a drone show throughout the year and all these things are free. So it's definitely worth checking that out. I'll leave a link for you in the description below. And, um, Hopefully you can maintain one of those things while you're here as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe down below. Until next time guys, have a great week. See ya.